Hello, kindergarten. This week we're going to start making this birdhouse picture. So you can see I have a pretty big piece of paper and then I've used other kinds of paper to make the birdhouse and the birds. Bird. So this week we're going to work on getting the background done and making the birdhouse part. So the first thing you need is a large sheet of paper. Now I'm going to show you one that I've started. Now what we're doing in school is called sponge painting. Sorry about that, I dropped some stuff. Now, so all you need for sponge painting is a, a little piece of a sponge and some paint. And you're going to do half of the paper green and half of the paper blue. So I'm just gonna show you how we're doing it at school. So this is called dabbing the paint. So I'm just, I dipped one skinny end of my sponge in the paint. And now I'm just dabbing it onto the paper. And it gets these cool designs because the sponge has holes in it. So then I'll redip and keep dabbing the paint on. Until I have the whole top blue and the whole bottom green. Now, if you don't have paints, well, let me start with this. If you have paints and you don't have a sponge, you can just paint it with the paintbrush. If you don't have paints, you can color it with crayons or markers. So you just need blue, green, and a bigger piece of paper. If you don't have a big piece of paper, you can glue or tape two smaller pieces together to get a big piece. Okay? So you're gonna, you're gonna make this paper green and blue, and then you're gonna put that someplace to dry if you painted it. So you're gonna you're gonna fill the whole thing in. I just wanted to show you how to do it. So you can pause the video and do your background and then come back to the video. Or you can watch this part and then just go make both parts. So I have a piece of paper here that's from a, a, an old catalog an old art catalog. You could use a piece of newspaper, you could use a magazine. All you want to do, now I made these tracers for school, is you want to you draw the house shape. Now I'm using a sharpie because I want it to show up. So you, I would use like a black marker or a different color marker so that when you're done you can see your house. You can always have a grown-up help you with this part. They can use a ruler so they, they get straight lines. Okay, so you can see the house is traced on there. So I'm not going to cut that out this week. I'm going to just keep it like this, and I'm going to keep it with my painted paper or my colored paper background. And then next week we'll work on decorating the birdhouse and making the bird to put on the picture to complete it. Okay, I will see you next week and I hope you have a great week. Bye.